Hello guys. So if you saw my video on the uh, vlog about going around the Birmingham Guitar Show, then you might recognise this bass, or it might look vaguely familiar. And that's because this is the bass that uh, Druskovsky Guitars very kindly brought for me to try the next day. And that's where the creator, Chemek, took that amazing picture of me playing the bass. So really, really glad to be able to demo this bass. He's very kindly lent it to me to do a video on. So this is a prototype bass. I'm gonna start off getting that out there now. It's not a finished article. It's definitely a work in progress. Um, and there are bits here and there that aren't necessarily as I would personally have them. But all I can do is offer my own personal constructive criticism and uh, my opinion on things. But again, some of it is down to personal preference and some of it, I think, could actually improve the bass all around for everyone. But with all that said, as an actual instrument, at its core, this is absolutely awesome. And if this is the prototype, then I'm really excited to see where the rest of his basses go because this is an absolutely awesome instrument, even just for a prototype and despite some of the things that I would change on it. So just getting that out there now. Um, specs wise, I there's so many different bits of wood on this that I'm actually, I've left a strap on me like an idiot so I can't show you very well. Um, I actually am not 100% sure what all of the woods are on this. There's so many, but I know he's gonna get back to me and let me know what they are. So if you don't see them in a caption now, then they'll be down in the description below. So fear not, I will actually put what this base is made of. I just, I have no idea right now because <laughs> there's so many different woods. Um, but knobs wise, Basically, you've got pickup blend here, uh, bass, middle, treble, and this is the volume, but it's also uh, push, yeah, push, push. So if you push it out, you've got a passive, and if you push it in, the bass becomes active. And these two switches, again, I'm not 100% sure what they are. I think they're cut and boost switches, but I'll put for sure either in a caption now or in the description what they are but at this point in time I don't actually fully know what they are for sure. So this bass feels absolutely great, it sounds absolutely amazing but a couple of things that I would possibly change is the volume being here throws me off and because I do certain things with volume swells then having that that became that becomes slightly inaccessible for me to do plus having every single other volume knob on all my other bases being there my muscle memory keeps going there and then changing the pickup blend instead of the actual volume uh, so personally i would change swap those two around and have the pickup blend here and the volume here um another thing i think could improve the bass but maybe other people would prefer it this way i can only offer my opinion is the edges are quite sharp on the bass so i think if they were sanded down a bit more and smoothed and it had more contours then that would really improve the feel of the bass because it feels a little bit blocky at the moment and i think after a while of playing it it might get a little bit uncomfortable because it could dig in here like there's a couple of sharp edges on the back um the other thing is, obviously it's a five string, so I know the neck is going to be quite big anyway, but I think the neck could actually be slightly smaller regardless, because there's quite a lot of space left that doesn't necessarily need to be there, and it makes it quite a big beast to try and handle, certainly for me. I mean, I can get around on basically anything, but if I had the choice, I would work... I would prefer to not work so hard trying to reach around the fretboard if that makes any sense. Um, I definitely think th fret dots are a good idea because um, there actually aren't any on this at the moment but that's because it's a prototype. Apparently I think he is planning to do some but I'm not 100% sure 
but yes, I agree. I do think fret dots are a good idea because this is super confusing without them. And me not particularly being a five string player, that's kind of a lot for me to take in as well <laughs> because my brain's kind of going, there's an extra string that I've never ever seen before. Like I've, I'm totally new to five strings. So I'm kind of still finding my way around this thing. And having no fret dots on top of that is kind of making my brain go, I don't really know where I am or what's going on, but I'm doing my best. And uh, yeah, again, that's just a thing that personally I would add on is some fret markers. Not even necessarily on the front, just something on the side would be great. Um, and the other thing is that it's got a D-shaped neck profile instead of a C-shape which for the way I play doesn't really suit my hand. I find it fatigues it because I tend to have my thumb over a lot when I play. And when you do that, it almost feels like a D shape profile neck because you've got a cur you've got two curves and a flat in the middle rather than C shape being totally curved. So for the way I play, if I had a C shape profile neck, it fits perfectly in my hand. Whereas in a D shape one, because there's two curves and it's flat in the middle, it feels like it's pulling my hand apart and there's a big gap here. And that is totally down to personal preference. That is not a fault on this base. It's just something that if I had the choice personally, I would prefer a C-shaped profile on the neck. Um, other than that, absolutely fantastic base. Um, I can't really fault it other than that. It, it's really, really nice. Aside from the fact it is massive, um, again, that is personal preference. I would probably go for something a little bit less bulky and a bit more contoured rather than so blocky. But yeah, that's just all down to personal preference. So you might all totally disagree with me. And yeah, all I can offer is my own perspective on things. So hopefully I explained all that okay. Um, I'll show you some of the sounds now and talk you through what I'm doing with all of the knobs and dials and everything. Uh, yeah, apart from that, not too much more to say. It's got a Seymour Duncan pickups and the fifth string is a low B rather than a high C. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me try and show you the back as well. Because it's gorgeous, like every aspect of this space is really pretty and again he's done a fantastic job making it so i just want to try and show off a little bit i really like as well how he's done his logo here and another thing i love is where the jack is because on certain bases they have them round here and when you stood up trying to reach it it's like really hard to reach around and find it so i like that it's just easy you just plug it in and it's done um yeah aside from that just awesome i really like it so thank you so much to chemek for letting me demo this base and lending it to me that is so kind of you um and i'm really pleased to be doing this so thank you so much and i'm going to say this now because i know future me is going to forget. So I do have a Patreon. Uh, there's a link down in the description and a band camp as well. If you hear anything on the channel that you like, it's probably on there. Um, but have a look around, see if there's anything you like. Uh, yeah, basically the Patreon just helps me continue, be able to continue doing what I love and bringing free content to you all, like lessons and all sorts of stuff, free music, etc. But yeah, that aside, here is what the bass sounds like and I'll talk you through it now and stop waffling on so much. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so this is the bass in active mode with literally everything middled. Again, apologies for my five string playing. I am literally totally new to this, so this is still a bit alien to me. I can't promise it's gonna be musical, but here is everything middled in active mode, so.
And then we've got uh, bass here, so this is what it sounds like with bass on full. And then bass off all the way, so... So I'm going to middle that again, and then we're going to go through middle, literally, so... And then middle all the way off. So I'm going to middle that again, and then we've got treble all the way on. So middling that, uh, pick up blend here. So weirdly, if you turn it that way, uh, it seems to be back pickup, if that makes any sense. So the back half of the pickup rather than going to the front half. So it seems a little bit backwards in my head, but maybe that is the way it's usually done. I'm pretty sure it's not, but it is what it is. So this is, uh, that one don't get confused now there's so many confusing things going on here uh yeah so this is going to be the back half of the pickup so Uh, so if I middle that, these are the two switches that I'm not 100% sure what they do, but I've got a feeling they're cut and boost switches, so starting with the left hand one flicked that way, right hand one sorry. Uh, Hand one flicked to the right. And then flick to the left. It is an absolutely awesome sounding bass. Uh, also, this is the passive mode, so everything middled in the passive mode. This is what it sounds like.
Yeah. It is a really awesome sounding bass. This keeps throwing me off being on the left side. I keep going to do that one, but it's the pickup blend. Um, yeah, every tone of this thing, no matter where you switch the dials, it sounds really nice. It's really even sounding as well. Um, I really like this bass. Again, it's not the kind of bass that I would necessarily choose to play, but that's not through it being a bad bass. That is through personal preference only. Again, as I say, this is a prototype one as well, so things will change. This one isn't going to be the perfect finished product anyway. And I think for prototype, this is pretty spot on. It's, he's done an absolutely awesome job. Um, I can't wait to see what else he comes out with, because if this is a prototype, then I'm really excited to see what else comes out. And I think if there was a four string version, then it will be awesome so hopefully we'll see that at some point in the future um again for me this is a slightly bulky beast as you can probably see i'm not the biggest person in the world um i can get around on it but i think the combination of it being five string and me not being fully used to playing a five string and the fact that it's so big anyway, even if it wasn't a five string, is kind of a slightly difficult thing to get my head around at first. I think the more I play it, the more I'd get used to. Uh, but as it stands at the moment, yeah, I find it a little bit too bulky for what I would normally pick. And again, I'm not really much of a five string person. It's just, but that's personal taste. Um, yeah. But absolutely awesome bass. It's, it's been a pleasure to demo it. Like, I always like seeing prototypes of things because when you finally see where they end up in the future, it's really satisfying. It's not even me making them, but I like seeing things as they progress and like knowing that I've been a part of its progress, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah really outstanding job especially for a prototype but as i mentioned there's a couple of things that i would change but apart from that this at its core is a really good base it's just the fi some of the finer details that i would kind of hopefully see as a change in the future maybe but you know maybe more people actually prefer it the way it is now than what I would have done to it so we'll see how it turns out but I know he does custom orders of things so I'm sure if anyone wanted a specific thing he is more than capable of doing that anyway but yeah absolutely awesome bass hopefully in the jam <laughs> I do it some kind of musical justice um, as I say it is quite a big beast I'm not used to playing five string and I'm also not used to having no fret markers, so that's kind of like messing with my head a little bit. But uh, again, there will be fret markers on his bases in the future apparently, it's just because it's a prototype, he's just put one marker on it just for the sake of argument. But uh, yeah, absolutely awesome base. I'm getting a bit out of breath now. <laughs> um, but yeah really really like this thing i'm excited to see how it turns out in the future and thank you so much for asking me to demo this because it really is an honor and this thing's got a soul i think it's it's got a lot of potential and i really like it it's just some of the finer de details really it's not like everything needs changing in fact most of it doesn't it's just a couple of bits here and there that could be fine-tuned maybe and other things are just down to my own personal preference. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the jam. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.